Hey, hungry people! It's Blair and Sarah, and we are so excited because it's a very early morning and it's fall, so you know what that means. It's coffee time. <laughs> but I don't know about you, Sarah, but I'm kind of over just like, you know, the basic regular coffee. Yeah, I think we need to spice it up with a little fall flavor. <laughs> Maybe some pumpkin spice, oh, a little yeah. apple cider, I don't My know. My favorites, <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to be going to two different locations, trying out some seasonal fall drinks. And our first spot, Salt City Coffee. We'll see you there. All right, so we are here outside our first location, Salt City Coffee. And it's going to be super fun. Uh, we're not so really sure what fall drinks they have, but you know that they all have. So yeah, we're going to head inside, see what they have, and test them out. See you soon. Hello again, friends! Okay, so we just ran into Salt City Coffee, and Sarah, why don't you introduce us to our first drink? Okay, so our first drink is the Pumpkin Spice Latte. An absolute classic. Ha, of course. I'm a full advocate that fall drinks should be good. But, ice ones could be good too, <laughs> right, Blair? I'm, I honestly just can't do hot coffee. Like, I'm very much an ice girl through and through. Um, I have in front of me the Harvest Brew. Apparently it's a Salt City Coffee original, so... I feel like we got like we got like some two mix-ups. We got yeah. something a twist, a variety, some original, and then a classic. <laughs> Take a moment with a pumpkin spice latte. But okay. so why don't you start? Yeah, in, in this little sip. Okay. Mm, not bad. Perfect temperature too. Like it's not too Ooh. hot. Like we literally just got these, and it's perfect. I like, I like it. it. Also, I like salty like coffee. You were very quick for your nine in the morning. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right. Now oh, I will good. try our lovely little pumpkin spice. Okay. okay. It's giving like apple cider. It's giving, I'm curling up the warm book. So is it's it a nice coffee? little false sweater. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's giving how I like my coffee, which is it doesn't taste like coffee. So. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay. Not bad. bad. Sure. Guys, Sarah has to put up with a hot drink today. Without an ice drink today, it'll be a little hard for her. Okay, cheers again. Oh yeah, that's definitely like an, like an apple cider. Like a cold. This is really good. This is really good too. We'll have to see how Peaks Coffee stands up. Peaks, I don't know if you have some competition. That's all I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> all right, see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, so we did it. We've made it to our second and final destination of the day, Peaks Coffee. Yes, and I am so excited, but I do have to say, they have a lot to live up to because Salt City Coffee, those were really, really good. Honestly, I was trying to savor it, but I was low key chugging it in the car. Like, Phenomenal job in that puppet sauce. Yeah, no, and the Harvest <coughs> Brew, that was like, I've never had something like that. It was so unique, so good, like a little cold cider tea moment. I, I loved it. We did talk to some um, local coffee frequenters of Peaks who said there's definitely some good fall drinks that await for us. All right, so we are back from Peaks Coffee with their fall flavored drinks. And I gotta say, they are kind of a little sober because the names are so fun. No, so cute. So I have a hot Charlie Brown latte, Hi. which is a homemade butterscotch latte. So it's incredible. So cute. <laughs> and I have the Nightmare on South Genesee Street, a little twist in the classic. Yes. <laughs> and this is basically like, it's a vanilla ice latte, but with pumpkin cold foam. Yeah, so what do we say? Give them a try? I think so. Mm. Wee! This is really, really good. Should we swap? Homemade butterscotch? Oh. Like, what? <laughs> this one's really good too. I just love how it's like, it's like a seasonal twist on like a good classic. <laughs> oh, so good. Alright, okay, okay. Cheers again? Yes. Ooh. I'm not a huge, like, pumpkin person. But this is like, I kind of like this too. This is interesting. It's subtle. It's almost like it is. Is. Yeah. Oh, I love that. This, this is, is a tough competition. This is kind of like warms you right in like, right in the heart. Like yeah. It hits you where, yeah. it's where you need like a cold, like a nice hot drink. So true. There, there's nothing better than a nice warm drink on a cold fall day. 
I know, yes. honestly, Sarah was saying she was freezing earlier. It is. And I think she's going to just down this drink once we finish this. <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> but yeah, guys, stay tuned because we're going to do our official rankings in one second. All right, so sadly, our coffee crawl has come to an end. We're very sad about this because we've had such a fun time today. Yeah, it's, it's our first time hosting together. It's been a lot of fun. But now it's time to figure out what we thought was our favorite right. and not That's so really favorite good. drink. Oh, it's a little unfortunate because, you know, we loved them all very yeah, much. Yeah. But there were some that just like, kind of stuck out to us as the best. Definitely. Um, coming for me, okay, I think in last place for me was the Harvest Brew from Salt City. It was still like a really great drink, but just compared to the others, it felt a little cool. So true. I just think an ice drink is not it for fall. You need something hot. But that's just me personally. <laughs> because I also did not like pumpkin. It Ooh. just wasn't. I'm just not a pumpkin girl. It, you know, it was interesting, but definitely not my favorite. And you know what? This just shows that people are a little bit different. We yeah. have different palettes. Because my number one was the vanilla latte with pumpkin spice cold foam. Thanks. I've never been here before, and they did me well. Now we have, along with Salt City, another place to buy an obnoxious $6 drink. Oh yeah, and my go-to $6 drink is now going to be the Charlie Brown from <laughs> Peeps. Homemade butterscotch in a latte. Who knew that was just going to be such a perfect combination? So what I'm hearing is, Sarah, is we're making many Peeps trips together in the future. Oh, for sure. And the baked goods in there, we're stopping in there. They look so good. So good. good. Like they have this like pumpkin chai scone. Mm -hmm. And Delicious. for everyone watching at home, like you gotta run here and try it and let us know what you think. <laughs> yes. And if you want to see more little coffee crawls like this, or maybe a cake crawl, something something of the sort. Maybe we'll get crazy. I don't, I don't, yeah. know, I don't know what's gonna happen. You never know. <laughs> Make sure to follow SU College Eats on Instagram for the latest. And check us out on YouTube at College Eats. And that's all the time we have for today. I've had so much fun with you today, so oh, I love you, Blair. <laughs> uh, so again, I'm Blair Seaman. And I'm Sarah. Stay hungry, people.